back from Comic-Con. What's up, everybody? Guess what? I don't have to bug you to give me money anymore. You know why? You stepped up and doubled my goal last night. I saw so much activity on the final day of the campaign. We had like six or seven contributions. It came out to be like 400 something dollars uh, all in the final day, all above and beyond my original goal, which I know is tricky for people to look at and go, well, he already made his money. Why should I give him more? But you did. And uh, it's huge. And now we're basically at $1,000. And that's going to allow me to do so much more to make RoboPrim happen. So campaign ended last night at midnight. I stayed up. I watched every last dollar come in. And um, it's amazing. I'm, I'm really uh, I'm really touched. And, uh, you know, there was a, somebody grabbed one of the really big perks at the end. And uh, I you know who you are. You didn't have to do that. Uh, that was way more than you needed to give. And uh, you stepped up and gave it. And I will never forget that. That was really, really great. So um, perks will be going out soon. Uh, some of the, you know, if you got a comic book or uh, one of the storyboard sketch cards that I drew, not from a potential artist, but that I drew, um, all that kind of stuff will be going out shortly. Uh, the button packs will take a little bit longer if you got one of those. Uh, and, uh, obviously the comic book is not quite ready yet, but phase one was a tremendous success. Thank you so much for everybody for, uh, for helping out with that. It means a lot to me. And, um, uh, even though the campaign's done, uh, the page is still up on Indiegogo. I will be putting up updates. You should be getting them in your email box, but I'll be updating everybody and doing videos and whatnot and keeping you informed as far as RoboPram goes for as long as it takes to get it done. Right. Um, next step, so everybody knows, uh, obviously still trying to find an artist with the money we have, that's really going to go a long way to me handing some cash over to somebody and saying, please, you know, please start drawing. Um, I will be at Ape in San Francisco in October, and I plan on being at the Long Beach Comic Con the first weekend in November. Uh, and hopefully I will have some sort of promotional materials at that point. To walk around and, and let people know about RoboPram. Uh, back from Comic Con, went to my speed dating event with writers and artists. It was, I was like, I mean, it, it was a success, but it wasn't as successful as I was hoping it would be. Uh, I met with about 14 people. Uh, they promised 20, but not all the artists that signed up showed up. So there was more writers, and I had to, you get five minutes with each person. So I had to sit out some rounds. Uh, so that was a little disappointing, but um, I met probably about three to four people that I think I'm going to continue having conversations with. Um, you know, uh, they gave out some materials. This guy was uh, into, named Winston. Uh, he was into uh, doing some designs and sending them to me. Um, I met with this person actually after the event, Sarah. Uh, I really liked her stuff, and she seems like a cool girl. There was a pair of cousins. They handed out some stuff, and and this guy even does. How do I get in here? Uh, this guy does some stuff like this for Wicked. He did a T-shirt for the the musical. I mean, that's pretty big, right? And you know that kind of style would could be uh, be something I'd like to see in RoboPram. So um, there's some potential there. I was hoping maybe to walk away with about ten to twelve people that I could have conversations with, but that might have been a little optimistic to begin with. So. Uh, Three or four sounds pretty good. Got to talk to some other artist friends that are a little more established. And like I said, the, the campaign was huge. We, we doubled the goal. That gives me some leeway to maybe walk up to somebody who's a little more established now and say, you know what? I got some money. Let's figure out how to make this happen. Uh, which, you know, would make RoboPam look great. And, and that's the goal is to make the comic book look great because I know the story's there. I trust in my story. I trust in my writing. And, uh, now I just need to find an artist to trust. And there's a few I already do. And they're busy and they're big time. But I might, you know, who knows? that We had a really good campaign. I might be able to turn some of that into really upgrading the look of RoboPram. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, just want to give everybody an update. There will be updates throughout as this continues to move on, both on the Facebook page, facebook.com slash RoboPram, and uh, right here on the Indiegogo campaign page. Even though it's closed down, I will still be putting, um, as far as donating money, I will still be putting updates up on here. So uh, thanks again, everybody. 
And uh, I will talk to you very soon and let you know what's going on in the world of Robopram. Thank you.